Dear students, how are you? I'm fine. I hope you are all in good health by the grace of Almighty Creator. Today we will read an unseen passage. The passage is about Ernest Hemingway. Our today's class is for the students of class 8, 9 and class 10. After reading the passage, we will solve question number 4, 5 and 6. Look at the slide. Here you see the text about Ernest Hemingway. He was a famous American writer and journalist. He also won Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. So, my dear students, please read the text yourself. Read the text silently and attentively. Now we will watch a short video clip on Ernest Hemingway. You will see a short biographical sketch of this famous writer and you will find the similarities between the text and the video clip. So let us watch the video clip. Ernest Hemingway was an American novelist and journalist. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature, and many of his novels are considered American literary classics. Ernest Hemingway was born in 1899 in Oak Park, Illinois. He began his career as a writer in a newspaper office in Kansas City, at the age of 17. After the United States entered the First World War, Hemingway signed on to become an ambulance driver in Italy. Hemingway was wounded while serving at the front and was decorated by the Italian government. After his return to the United States, he became a reporter for Canadian and American newspapers and was soon sent back to Europe to cover such events as the Greek Revolution. During the 1920s, Hemingway became a member of a group of expatriate Americans in Paris. Hemingway met such writers as Gertrude Stein, James Joyce and Ezra Pound, as well as painters Pablo Picasso and Joan Miro. It was during this time that Hemingway published The Sun Also Rises, which was well received and would later become an iconic modernist novel. The Sun Also Rises influenced countless crime and pulp fiction novels. Equally successful was A Farewell to Arms, inspired by an affair with Agnes von Karowski. It was the study of an American ambulance officer's disillusionment in the war and his role as a deserter. Hemingway used his experiences as a reporter during the Civil War in Spain as the background for his most ambitious novel, For Whom the Bell Tolls. He wrote the novel in Cuba, Key West and Idaho. It was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize and is regarded as a literary triumph. The Old Man and the Sea was published in 1952. It is the story of an old fisherman's journey, his long and lonely struggle with a fish and the sea, and his victory and defeat. In 1954 he received the Nobel Prize in Literature for this work. Hemingway was a great sportsman and liked to portray soldiers, hunters and bullfighters. His straightforward prose and his predilection for understatement are particularly effective in his short stories. Hemingway suffered from alcoholism and mental illness. After being released from hospitalization in Minnesota in 1961, Hemingway took his own life. His style became a trademark that defined the post-World War I generation, and the legacy Hemingway left behind will no doubt endure in American literature for generations to come. Question number four. Complete the table below with appropriate information. This question is for the students of class 8, 9 and 10. In the first column, we see name of the events. In the second column, we see place. 
the third column we say year or time and in the fourth column we see hours number one and number two born in number one we should write the place where the writer was born and in number two we should write the time or year number three joined the Italian army you should write the year when he had joined the Italian army in number four you see in 1952 what happened in 1952 and in number five own that is what hours he had owned in 1954 now have a look at the slide and match your answers number one oak park illinois chicago number two in 1899 number three in 1918 number four the old man and the sea was published the famous novel the old man and the sea and the final one he won nobel prize in literature in 1954 dear students you should not write the answers like this you should write the answers like this you should just write the serial number and the words or phrases now you see our homework this homework is for the students of class 8 because the students of class 8 you have true false writing so you should do the homework read the passage again and write true or false beside the following statements give correct answers for the false statements number a ernest hemingway was an english writer number b he won nobel prize in literature in 1952 number c he was a journalist before becoming a novelist number d he joined the Italian army as a soldier during World War I. And number E, he died by an accident in 1961. So my dear students of class 8, you should do the homework. Look at this slide. This homework is for the students of class 9 and class 10. You have summary writing in the question number 5. So write a summary of the above passage in your own words. You should write the summary of this text. Your summary should not be more than 50 words because the total, you should write the summary one third of the main text. Number six, this is also given for your homework match the parts of sentences given in column a b and c to write five complete sentences you see the parts of sentences in three columns and you have to match the parts of sentences and make five complete sentences you should not draw the table you just write the number a b or roman number one two and write five complete sentences accordingly so dear students i hope you have understood nicely and i hope that you will do your homework and submit your homework on facebook group or you may send your homework at my email IDs. Thank you everybody. Stay well. Very best of luck. God bless you.